section 18 is about activities. So let's talk about that first, just some of the daily activities that are expected to be offered uh, day to day in your child care program. Now, this is not a requirement, but it is strongly recommended by the Office of Licensing that child care providers plan daily activities that are going to support the healthy physical, social, emotional, cognitive, and language development of children in care. So uh, please plan a variety of activities that not only are intended to keep children safe, but also really help support their healthy growth and development as a human. We also do require that children in care receive enough physical activity to support their healthy development. Your physical activities throughout the day should include a mixture of light, moderate, and vigorous activity. So what does that mean? Examples of light activity would be maybe just playing around the classroom, building with blocks or dress up are a couple of examples. Moderate physical activity would be maybe going on a walk or doing yoga or stretching. Vigorous activity, on the other hand, is more like playing sports, jumping rope, running, those types of things. So you don't have to only focus on vigorous activity. We would encourage you to include a mixture of all levels of physical activity throughout the day for your children in care. Now, last couple of things to mention for this section are just some uh, requirements and information about higher risk activities, starting with screen time. Screen time is not uh, prohibited, but we do strongly recommend that you limit screen time for children, especially when very young. So for children in care who are younger than five, or if you do have any infants or toddlers in care, uh, you should very carefully consider how much screen time you allow those children and uh, how you can help support their overall healthy physical development. Another higher risk activity would be offsite activities. Parents do need to be made aware of any offsite activities that are taking place and if their child is going to be participating in them. What is an offsite activity? Well, a common term that schools or child care programs use would probably be field trips. We use the term off-site because any time you take children off-site, that is considered an off-site activity. Your site being the area or building that you have been approved to provide care for children. So the uh, parents do need to be informed of these off-site activities, but the if you're just doing a walking activity that's uh, only an hour or less, and it's within a half mile of your approved site, you would not be required to inform parents of those types of activities.